Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. It's the Injusta, Injustice 2 circuit, the top eight of round number eight. And uh, we're trucking along nicely. We're in losers round number five right now. This will be match number five, Gilbags versus KD. So this is an elimination match. One of these will get knocked out and will have to take whatever points he can from the top eight. But one will have the chance to stay alive and carry on through with uh, their campaign to get into the grand final. Uh, we don't know who they're going to face yet in the grand final. We've got uh, the uh, winner's semi-final coming up uh, in two matches time, really. So Pretty Boy Nicky versus Conqueror Y uh, waiting in the wings. But right now, I'm going to hand it over to Baxter and Sagat once again to take you through Gilbags versus KD. Thanks, Chris. So, yeah, we'll have this interesting matchup. Like we were saying earlier, both these guys, character loyalists, um, both guys played Sub-Zero in MKXL, um, and KD sticking with him here as well. So, um, Gilbags will be playing Joker, of course, because he doesn't play any other character. I'm actually surprised as well why Gilbags didn't have Sub-Zero as a secondary in this game. I thought surely he would be playing Sub-Zero as a secondary, but... The Joker. It's interesting. Well, I guess it's it's uh, it's not Cryomancer. Even though he's got Cryomancer tools, but in, in my view, I just think that he's... Uh, if it's not Cryomancer, then it's not Sub-Zero, so... <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true. Yeah, he, didn't even, he never ever played another variation, did he? He only played Cryomancer. No. That's right, yeah. He, well, he, he liked his tools. He, he, he liked everything about him, you know? Um, and it improved him, you know, um, improved him as a player and up his skill level, so why not? Again. So here we go. Gilbag versus KD. Sub Zero versus Joker. Yeah, this will be an interesting matchup to see because um, you know, Joker does actually have that like really fast gunshot to take care of the clone like really quickly. But um And then he has the normals as well actually to contest Sub Zero, so it should be actually a pretty hard matchup for Sub Zero, I imagine. Um, for him to like contain Joker um, and actually at zone him as well. So, and here we go. We see Joker already getting that uh, blender started at that corner advantage. Bates, that wake up slide. Very obvious, says uh, Gilbag right there. And here we go. We see that corner advantage switching now to KD. This is never where you want to be versus Sub Zero. That clone game will start up very shortly. Oh, nice neutral jump. That down to just whipping. Oh, and the parry! Reacting to the 4-3 and parrying that, that's awesome to see. And here we go, we see Gilbag just fighting for the corner. He doesn't care about the clone, but he cares about that 4-3. That hammer just went straight through his face. And now Gilbag is that first life bar and still stuck in the corner. KD showing showing Gilbag maybe he is the Sub-Zero Lord after all. In Injustice 2, that is, not MKX. In Injustice 2, In Injustice 2, only, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, look, uh, he does have the fast high projectile that can contest his ice balls, but, you know, since they are a high, uh, KD is more likely to slide underneath and try advancing or catch him out when he's up close. So this is a very interesting matchup for sure. Yeah, it's really interesting to see, and um, I really like how Gilbax is utilizing that parry to uh, react to the forward three there in the corner, because that is very, you know, a, a massive option that KD goes for quite a lot, is putting up that clone in the corner, and then he just goes straight for the forward three. But wow, Gilbax, that was really cool, that meter burn canister straight into the gunshot, and then catching it with the teeth there after the slide. Gilbax taking out game number one. Pretty cool to see it. That does really good chip damage as well, that um, low canister meter burn. Yeah, it's quite a chunk as well, but yeah. It's, this is actually a really peculiar matchup to see. Like, I don't think I've ever, ever seen Joker versus Sub-Zero before, so it's pretty cool to see um, this is a loser side top 8 match right now. Gilbags being up one game, so... Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Like you were saying, that slide option, I didn't think of it before, but maybe KD can opt for the slide a bit more um, as a preemptive countermeasure to the gunshots. Um, just to counter zone Joker a little tiny bit, but um, it'll be interesting to see how KD adapts to this one. Nice trick guard there on that with jump in. So here we go, now we see Joker getting his offense started with that crowbar run. Now KD is known for his yellow slides, especially when he pulls out the clone, and Aaron is very aware of this. So we'll see if KD can hold back a bit and try not slide as much, even though that might be a bit difficult for him, but hopefully he can play a bit more neutral and just sit behind the clone and try to catch the waves out. 
Yeah, definitely. And KD just pretty much anti airing a forward three now. Um, you know, twice that he's put it, uh, Gilbags out of the air with the forward three option, and now Gilbags taking a taking a page from Matitude's book, jumping directly into the clone. Um, but yeah, we see Gilbags once again. Whoa, but no, just as I was about to say, is in the corner. Manages to jump straight over KD. No anti air from KD, and now he's down in the corner. He tries the same thing, tries the same gimmick to try and jump out of the corner, but Gilbags reposting himself. And now we see KD taking that first life bar. Nice slide underneath the gunshot. Does get the punish though, just out of range. Here we go, we see the down one toast, the down one trades. Nice little combo there, two hit combo, 14 cheeky damage. Here we go, nice block on the cross up there. Mead burn, ice ball, that is safe. Nice clone as the anti air right there. Gilbags are trying to do anything to take the first life bar, but KD doing really well to harness that last 5%, but that's just take it there with the interactor. I can see now uh, KD really starting to slide underneath those high projectors, and Aaron starting to go in and apply a bit more pressure. But once Sub Zero is in the corner, then he can start the, as you call it, the uh, Joker Blender, and just hope that he can find a way out. If or if you can keep him in there, it'll be just, be just beneficial for him. Okay, now that string is safe. Down one into down back two. Now that after the patch, that does now connect. That does now connect on hit. <laughs> that was such a funny interaction. He managed to slide underneath the do a clone as Gilpax jumped over him <laughs> directly into the clone. Pretty funny interaction that worked out there for KD to tie it up one to one. But yeah, um. I don't know, it's like it's like a really hard um, match to like offer advice to either Gilbags or KD because it is such a peculiar matchup that we don't see um, that often. Well. But you know, what, what you've been saying about KD's playstyle, he's definitely committing to a lot of slides and Gilbags, you know, he did have the opportunity for a couple of punishes there and didn't really take full advantage. Um, and one thing that Gilbags did actually try and do is um, punish KD for the air escape because he does actually offer that quite a bit there. So nice um, adaptation there from Gilbags. We'll see if he offers that once again once he gets that opportunity on KD. Finds a nice cross up there. This will be a nice combo. He does not have the meter for the air escape. Here we go. No, but drops the last little bit of it. No punish there on the slide. And he manages to flip straight into the ice clone. Take a chill pill, Gilbags. Yeah, I guess he's taken a leaflet out of uh, Matitude's book, so you know, hopefully we can have uh, a replicated match. <laughs> like before, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but here we go. We've got KD's corner pressure once again starting up here. Gilbags doesn't actually parry that forward three like we saw him doing earlier, and he tried to do it there, but nice. He actually adapts to KD and does a back one one there as a low option, which does not fall. Oh, but there we go. Goes for the forward three again and gets parried. Oh, and that ice ball steals the deal there for the first life bar. So yeah, Gilbags just needs to get out this corner. There we go, there's the punish that he's looking for, but he does not adapt to the air escape. He actually went to punish in game number two there before, but he maybe just forgot that it was an option right there and he didn't look at the meter that KD had. So here we go, KD, wow, he is going absolutely ham sandwich with these slides right now. This is absolutely nuts, but Gilbags, nice punish there. He's starting to adapt to these slides, starting to punish KD a bit more for his gameplay. Oh, I like that jump three into the trade interaction. That's pretty cool to see. Here we go. Nice 50% meter use, but Gilbags having the meter there. He's the going to clash and get a decent amount of life back. So we'll see um, Gilbags, you know, resetting neutral with this clash as well. Katie's probably just going to wake up and um, crouch until he has that clone. And he goes straight back into the clone neutral. And here we go. He sure does. That was a nice read, catching him uh, trying to dash in. That's really one Can thing good about Gilbags Hill, is Let's just sit there neutral snowball, and just wait for you to run in. Second you run in or dash in, you know you're going to get this for jump and you're going to get punished. And it wouldn't surprise me as well if Gilbags has a few options to select off his sleeve, <laughs> as we all know from the requirements of the KX, having those OS 43% one bar. Yeah, but every time he gets that combo, every single time KD just air escapes and Gilbags not punishing him whatsoever for it. Oh, nice throw break there! He still is living on a prayer right now. He is Bon Jovi. Let's go. Gilbags, can you maybe bring this one back? Nice sweep underneath the ice ball. Oh my god, that's a punish. No, he doesn't. Why would he not punish that properly? He had the um, correct punish there. KD did not have clash. That would have been it. He had the two bars to easily take that one out. But I don't know. Lucky bait there for KD. Only gets a little tiny minute punish. And he actually seals out game number three. So that's 2-1 now to KD.
So yeah, kill bags. I'm not too sure. He's, he's, he made the adjustments in game number two, but now he's, you know, in game number three, he forgot all about it. He really needs to start punishing KD for those air escape attempts. Starting to read it with maybe a forward dash into a reset or maybe a jump up forward crowbar. But yeah, KD doing well. You know, he, he doesn't have to change as of yet because Gilbax hasn't forced him to. So we be interesting to see now heading into game number four if KD is forced to switch or if he can just run the same train he has been. He needs to punish those slides a bit more and catch the air escape with Joker's jumping through because of the range. So um, if he makes those two adjustments, I think this matchup can work in his favor. Wow, that was a pretty crazy interaction. KD actually went for the one one typical thing that Sub Zero players did in MKX, and once again in Justice 2, is they set out the clone, dash up, throw you back into the clone for a full combo. And um, unluckily for him though, he was just out of range, and the kill bags actually throw punished his whiff. So pretty interesting interaction there. But now we see. The story of this set so far is Gilbags being caught in the corner and KD just running at the sub zero train on him. 357 damage and this is going to be into a reset. No, hard knocked out. 458 damage. Really nice combo damage there. Just to do the teeth. Wow, that's really interesting actually. The teeth does not nullify the clone. That's a really, really interesting thing to match up. And wow, once again tries to go for the parry, but luckily for KD, just out of range of that forward three. Here we go, we start to see Gilbags mounting offense now. Nice gunshot, takes away that uh, clone really quickly there. Ooh, and the punish! Nice from KD, realizing that Gilbags likes to go for the gunshot there. Trying to take away the clone, and actually got him with the full combo and takes out the first life bar. So yeah, I just want to see Gilbags maybe try and get himself out of this corner now. Goes to the crowbar option, no punish, luckily for him. And he does punish that sweep from KD right there with his own. So, now both players, pretty much life is equal, but Gilbax with the obvious meter advantage between the two. Here we go, that air escape might be an option. No, this time he does not go for the air escape, and Gilbax not having to bait it out this time. Wow, and KD managing to jump straight out the corner, gets a forward three. He has the meter advantage, so it's pretty... Oh, no, he doesn't actually, so... Here we go, 50% used, and wow, but just it goes like for that normal standard hero. combo, and now Gilbags actually has the opportunity you. to clash and get that life back. <laughs> just by spending a couple of bars. So here we go, reset back to neutral. KD with zero bars, Gil Bags with two. Now we see Gil Bags once again, just going back to this gunshot gameplay, nice. Shoots him out that clone toss. And here we go. Oh, and just whiffs, and he manages to pull straight into that clone. Once again, we see him in the corner against KD right now. The forward three, the clone combo. No, he drops it. Here we go, Gilbag with the outclash anymore. He's used it already. Wow, he doesn't sweep, and this could be it. No, nice air escape. No, he actually gets baited and punished for that, but not a, de not a decent punish, just a short one. Here we go, Gilbag once again in the corner. Nice sweep there from KD. M nice block on the forward three. He might, might be able to get out here. Nice jump over. Oh, and just cuts the combo short, so he can't clash there and get some life back. Nice anti-air. T, punish. No, punish again. Oh my god, this is so close right now. Anything will kill. Oh, and KD! Wow. He actually could have clashed there as well. I'm not too sure what he went for. He did block the first hit of that string, and he actually got hit twice, which means in that second hit, he could have clashed before dying and got some life back there, but lucky break for Gilbags. That was crazy down to the wire right there. Both players only having about 5-10% life left, and now we see it tied up 2-2. Two to two. So yeah, really... Um, Really crazy set right now, both players you know, um, on the edge of their seats going into this game number five. Action. But yeah, I'd like to see Gilbags bait out those air escapes from KD and get more more decent punishes on the slides. He's he's blocking the slides really, really well, but he's not getting the punishes that he needs to take out the set. So let's see if he can make those adjustments in this game five and take this one over KD. Yeah, my heart is literally in my mouth now, <laughs> watching this dude play. Do so I know. Fight, you know? And um, I always worry that every time he just throws a gunshot, you know, I always worry that some random slide's gonna come out because, you know, KD's definitely well known for that. But KD's not afraid to spend two bars to air escape and, you know, taking away all the momentum from Gilbo's. So let's see how they both adapt in this matchup as it's now down to match point. Yeah, definitely. And, um,. You know, we see once again KD going for that air escape option and Gilbags not baiting it, so he really needs to pay attention to KD's meter and start baiting that option out. 
And here we go, we're gonna see a nice chunk of damage there. Just 415 damage right now. Cat has the corner advantage and catches the forward three. KD taking that first life bar has pretty much been the story of each game within this set. Right now for Guild Bags and catches that sweep attempt right there. Oh, catches him in the interactable. Oh my god, he's in the corner. What can Guild Bags do? Nice air escape. Managed to avoid the um, unavoidable damage. Oh no, for forward three, back three, every single three that KD can possibly do. Nice air escape once again, avoiding the unclashable damage. But Guild Bags on his last legs right now only has about 5% life left. Needs to find something though. No. Nice life from KD. He's finding the options he needs to. Nice mid one roll straight through the clone. Can Guild Bags do it? This will be a comeback of the legend. Do the goal thing right now, Chris, on stream. Please, Guild Bags might be actually able to come back. Whoa, he's catching random hits. Managed to find a jump in and take the first life bar. Can we see possibly Guild Bags do it? Nice shot there. Managed to jump over the mid one. Ice clone. Oh my god. His nice reset there. Nice block. No, no punish, slide again, he's just trying to chip him, he's just trying to do anything, any chip right now, and that takes it. KD manages to clutch it out there, Gilbag looks like he's mounting a comeback of a legend right there, but KD being a bit too solid, um, and managing to take that one 3-2 over Gilbag. So, unfortunately for Gilbags, that is the end of his run tonight, and the end for his run in the Injusta online series, he is eliminated from the tournament. However, KD, congratulations, he has moved on the losers round six. So, up... yeah, sorry, you go ahead. Oh, no, so I just wanted to congratulate KD and um, say, uh, you know, hard luck to Gilbags, but, you know, always know you that you always come back stronger and looking forward to see who wins this tournament today. Good luck to you all. So, yeah, up next we'll have N Megabytes after his nail biting set with Pretty Boy Nikki in the winner's side of things, taking on a Harambe Kong, the other side of a loser's bracket. So, that will be up next, guys, in just a few minutes. So, stay tuned and we'll be back with you.